Hello students, in this question a paragraph is given. Arrangement shown below has an electron source producing electrons of various speed emitted along the line of x axis. Region 1 is sufficiently large in dimension to work as velocity selector. Uh, it contains uniform and const, uh, constant with time. Uh, magnetic field of strength B and electric field of strength A in which along which are along minus k cap and minus j cap direction. So here electric field and magnetic fields both are given. This is electric field and inside the magnetic field. Reason 2 contains uniform magnetic field of same direction in strength minus b k cap inside the plane, but it can be switched on off after uh, electrons have entered by some distance in region charge E uh, minus E. E is magnitude and mass is m. So electrons are basically thrown with the speed uh, where velocity will be uh, e by b uh, so we can write for the solution here that velocity is basically equal to e by b and next thing question number nine what is asked in question number nine choose the correct statement regarding possible path of the electron in region two path of the electron we have to calculate when the magnetic field is periodically changed when magnetic field is changed, path of the electron we have to select. And what happens whenever electron goes in this direction, uh, force of the magnetic field uh, acts in this direction, which is negative y direction basically. So option A says, if magnetic field is switched on and off in pi m by e b time interval, then path of the electron will be. What happens? Electron move in circular path in this magnetic field and time period of that circular path can be written as time period T is equals to uh, 2 pi m divided by q b and here charge q is e and times b. This is the time period. So after half of the time period, uh, magnetic field is switched on and off. So whenever magnetic field is switched on, uh, the particle starts moving in this direction. Till then, particle will be moving in a straight line. There is no magnetic field. Now, magnetic field on. Then, by force on particle acts in this direction, and uh, this moves in this circle. And then, uh, after half circle, because time period is this, and uh, this is the half of the time period. So, after half circle, it it, starts, it starts moving in a straight line. And then, uh, when the uh, a magnetic field is switched on again it, it starts moving like this and then completes half of the circle and then again a straight line so this must be the uh, path this is not correct a is not correct in this we have uh, given the time interval pi m by 2 e b which is one fourth of this time so only one fourth circle can be completed so particle is moving in a straight line when there is no magnetic field magnetic field is started one fourth circle completes then again straight line then again one fourth circle completed and again straight line and then again and it completes this time b option is correct and this is the single correct answer type of question so b is correct answer will be here we can check for c and d also uh, C says, if the magnetic field is switched on or and off in this time interval of 2 pi m by e b, time interval path of the uh, electron, path of the electron we have to calculate, this is the means after completing one circle, uh, magnetic field is switched off for same time and then again switched on. So one circle is completed, but uh, in this time, if it travels distance to r then only this circles are touching possible so if we calculate this distance then this distance can be written as uh, velocity times we can say velocity times this time uh, period is capital t and uh, this value comes up to velocity is e by b and time period is 2 pi m divided by e b is velocity and uh, sorry this is the time period and velocity is uh, we can write it as v so this is the v and this becomes 2 pi mv divided by eb and for the radius we can write r is equals to mv by qb q is e and b and if this separation is 2r 
and then we can say 2r is basically equal to 2mv divided by qb and we can directly see from here that this 2r is lesser than the displacement traveled with the constant velocity so these circles must not be touching to each other that's why c option is incorrect and for the d option electron whenever electron is moving in a straight line it must move downward it makes downward circle not upward circle so d option is also incorrect b is only the correct answer here so answer of this question is option b thank you